This is my first honorary degree, and I'm particularly proud to get it from another public institution. Uh, I think that MSU has a lot of things in common with my home institution of University of California, and I think that this country would be in terrible shape if we didn't have universities, uh, uh, public universities of the quality that we're speaking about. We live in a society today where we all turn to the government to solve our problems, and I think they're turning in the wrong place most of the time. We have got to solve our problems, and we have got to be the generator of the excitement and the future. The government can be a partner with us, but let's not let the government be the driving force. Michigan State and all the other schools have to be the driving force, and the students that come from them must be the drivers that carry us. I've been especially encouraged over the last several days um, in, in meeting with the president and with the vice president for research and with the deans I've been especially impressed and encouraged by the commitment to these issues and to issues of sustainability and to getting people to work together across disciplines. So I think the future is great. I'm uh, really proud to be counted as one of you. I'm really accepting this uh, on behalf of all of the individuals who work with me. It has truly taken a village. It has truly taken a, a country. It's taken many countries to achieve what we have, and we're hardly finished. Uh, when we began this work, the five-year survival rate of breast cancer uh, before it had spread from the side of the breast was 74 percent. It is now 98 percent in the United States. Receiving this honorary doctorate uh, more than four decades after I graduated from Michigan State, uh, I'm humbled by the thought of it, um, and, uh, but at the same time, um, you know, it was a realization and, a, and, and an honor that uh, I never expected and never anticipated. And, I'm very proud for myself and, and my family and all those that are associated with me to, uh, um, you know, they're all going to have to call me Dr. Minskoff now, so, you know, that, that's, that's a revelation that, you know, we're going to have to deal with, and uh, if they don't, there are consequences. It is surely an honor to be a Spartan. I even bought a green jacket yesterday. <laughs> And I think you won your basketball game last night. I couldn't watch it because I was giving my lecture. Uh, so in addition, and I think it's very rare to have uh, excellent academic standards and superb athletic standards, something that you know, Berkeley aspires to, but we're not <laughs> quite there yet. Uh, Indeed, Michigan State has a great tradition in environmental sciences, but new partnerships are going to be needed now in the decades to come and MSU is well positioned to be a leader because the solutions to the environmental problems, I'm convinced, <clears throat> are being increasingly recognized as at least the mu as much the province of the liberal arts as of the sciences, despite the fact that most university-based environmental programs have a decidedly science and engineering base. I am very proud to be at MSU, uh, the only public university with three medical schools uh, uh, for students to learn. And I think in the 1960s, when Barnett Rosenberg uh, and his colleagues did the work to develop the drug cisplatinum, which has been so successful in fighting cancer, uh, you have much to be proud of. I'm delighted to be able to um, visit with students and uh, to know uh, that this university is but one of many, many friends we have around the world. What an honor for Helen and myself to be here today and to, to just be walking in your shoes and your company. and. Stand in awe of what you've accomplished. You are a, a, a marvel. It's, it, you know, we take, well, hopefully we take the things you do and make happen and we kind of put the feet to them and make them and get them on the street and get them to the people. But we do it in the process of helping other people become better people.